thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a tool haul, a really awesome tool haul of some tools that I've acquired over the past uh, month, and maybe a month and a half, and I'm really excited to bring those to you and show you what I got. Before I do that, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, you get notified of all my future content, which you're definitely gonna wanna see. Now let's get into this tool haul. All right, so the first thing is, I did, a, uh, I did a, uh, some posts about, uh, I did a video about tools to take out uh, actuators and how to get in there. And I was telling my coworker about it and he showed me a tool I'd never seen before. Let me show it to you. All right, so it is Lyle, there's the part number, and it is an actuator motor wrench. Who would have thought to actually make a wrench for this specific job? So that wrench comes like this. Now it's not, I have to loosen it, it's not oriented properly, uh, but basically you've got, uh, you've got um, the, the pieces go on like this. So you've got a drive for a quarter drive and you've also got a bit holder, all right? So you can do it one of two ways. There's an O-ring on, on, both, on both of them and they go inside the actuator, all right? So the way this works is Hang on, let me put this back together. So I don't lose the pieces. All right, so the way it works is normally if it was oriented properly, uh, you can do it either way. I mean, you can do it like this, or you can loosen the bolt and turn the eyelet, and so it's like this, right? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it back, and then it's locked in, and then you're gonna push it. You're gonna pull it back, you're gonna push it. And that's how it works, and it gives you leverage in, a, in places that you don't normally have leverage. I don't know how often I'm gonna use this or how, uh, or how handy it's gonna be, but I got it. So now I have another tool in my arsenal for when I do uh, actuator motors, which, as you saw in, the, in that one video, it can be quite difficult. And I'll put a, a link in the description at the, I'll put a link at the end of the video for that video for you to check out. The next one I got, let me grab it. Oh, all right, I had the package over there so I wouldn't forget, but I had it in my cart. Now I won this right here in a giveaway over Christmas. It's Titan Tools, so I had the choice. So they're, it's their new, their new rolling head ratchet. So they had, a, they had a quarter drive ratchet and they had a bit ratchet and I got to choose. So I chose the bit ratchet. I've got, uh, I already have these in, uh, in regular ratchets, but you can orient this in any, in any position that you want, okay? So it's pretty, pretty handy. Another, again, another tool that I'm not gonna use a lot, but just having something like this makes the world a difference when you're trying to do a job that's just kicking your butt. The next tool I got is my good friends at Carbine Tools sent this to me. Now this is the only, so I've showed you the stubby sockets where you have a, these are, these are metric hex sockets where you can put a wrench on it or it's got a drive. So I've got all of them now. This is the only set I didn't have. Now I've got both hex, the Torx, the triple squares. I'm ready to roll. Uh, so anyway, so there you go right there. There's the part number, okay? So you can check out their Carbine Tools page on Amazon. They have a lot of cool stuff. I've showed you all their tools, and I use all of their tools. Even though I already have the Snap-on uh, tools, I've been using nothing but the Carbine Tools, and I'll tell you what, man, these things are holding up, and I haven't had any of them fail at all. And even the hex that I've been using have not rounded at all. All my hex before were Matco. And I swear I got them warrantied and brand new. They already started rounding in bolts. So there you go, don't buy Matco ones. Buy the carbine tools. They hold up. The next tool I got, now I did a little YouTube short about this because I was doing a, a intake, I was doing valve cover gaskets on a, on a Nissan 3.3. And uh, I showed you how to do that in a, in a previous video. But anyways, one of my coworkers showed me these two tools right here and I needed this one right here to take off an EGR tube. And uh, I was gonna buy it, and the day that I was gonna buy it, uh, somebody 
uh, made a comment on my uh, on my uh, YouTube story, on my YouTube short about it, telling me that they're not made by Matco, they're made by uh, Powerbuilt, and that they're a lot cheaper. So I looked it up, and sure enough, I think this set was like 30 bucks for these two. Now, just recently, in the, rec in the most recent Matco catalog, Matco ha came out with a set of three of these. So I actually have to figure out what the third one is uh, so I can make sure I get that. And I'll be sure to uh, share that with you when I get it. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be getting it from Powerbuilt, considering, oh, I know. Another benefit to this is that um, Matcos only have a drive here. So these have a drive here. So you could actually put an extension on here and use this like a pipe wrench. So that's another big, uh, big positive to these. So there you go, check those out. I'm telling you, if you ever have to take a part of EGR tube or something like that, it could be quite tricky. So there you go. Now, these are brand spanking new. I think these came out not even two weeks ago. I'm really excited. I just got these last night right here. They're brand new. I haven't even touched them. These are the Gripty uh, Magnetic Parts Tray. All right, so they make, uh, they make a red and green set and the set I got, which is purple and pink, I wanted it because I wanted it to stand out because, you know, if it's underneath the hood of a car, you definitely don't want to forget it or don't miss it. So it comes like this. Uh, the edges are pliable like all of their products and the inside is magnetic and so is right there, sticks right to the box. So I got three of them. I can stick them all over the place. So now I got my grippy mat that I've got my tools on and then here I got for the bolts, I can lay these out and um, and keep things where I need them to be. Now the next tool I got, now I've seen these a lot of times on, on the internet. I've seen them from Autobahn Dan. I've seen them from several people. My good friend Davion from It's Does Any, uh, check out his channel. Uh, he actually just posted a tool haul with these and uh, I'm really excited. So these are SP tools, uh, let's see, oh, here's the part number right there. All right, so these are the breather hose removal tools. I haven't even opened these. I literally just got them last night in the mail. So way, the way these work is you have your EVAP hoses or your, or your PCB breather hoses, and it's the plastic ones that you've got to depress the two tabs they're hella hard to press, and then you're supposed to, when you press them, it's supposed to release the other side. Problem is, man, you could depress those things till you're blue in the face. I do it with pliers, they don't release. I always end up having to take a hook, on, uh, like a pick on both sides and pry out the little tabs and then try to push it in. So the way these work is you push this on the line like this, and then you turn it. And when you turn it, it pushes in and it releases the tabs. So everybody I've talked to says that these work fantastic. So these are SP tools. Uh, I will put a link in the description to uh, where you can get these, telling you if you work on anything, it doesn't matter if you work on Europeans, if you do EVAP or, uh, or any sort of engine work, you've got PCB breather hoses, you've got EVAP hoses, these right here are gonna make your life a lot easier, I promise. Now the last thing, now I've never had these before, and uh, I'm really excited to have these. And these are from my good friends at Olsa Tools. Now these are the locking index pry bars. Now it comes with two pry bars. It comes with a 20 inch and a 10 inch. So the way it works is you push, so let's say you have a pry bar, right? You're trying to do some work and you just can't quite get the angle. We've all been there. You got your pry bar and it's either not enough of an angle or it's too much and you just can't make it work and you're super frustrated. You just need it to lift a little bit more. And so all you do, it's got a really nice handle on there. And all you do is you push this button right here and then you can rotate this. Now this thing can rotate all the way from there and you can rotate it all the way back around to almost nothing. Look at that. So, I mean, you can see right here, you could put it in this angle if it's not quite enough, you can depress it, push it a little bit more, 
give you just the right angle and everything is perfect. So I'm telling you right here and you got the small one and you've got the short one. Now between the two of these, you should be able to get what you need to get done. I'm telling you these things are awesome and uh, I can't wait to use these. You're gonna love them. Well, that's the tool haul. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I, I can tell you right now that some of these tools right here for everyday use are gonna be not, maybe not everyday use. You're not taking off EVAP lines and PCB hoses, but you're gonna be doing it quite often and you're gonna love those breather hose removal tools. I cannot wait to use them. Thank you, Dezeni, for recommending those. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tool haul. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell you get notified of all my future content, which you're definitely gonna to wanna to see. Also check me out on Instagram at nuts and bolts with tone for my daily life as a mechanic. Show you all kinds of cool stuff. Show you stuff, I'm doing a timing cover right now on a 6'4 power stroke. I've showed you some pictures along, some little uh, clips along the way of what that looks like. So then you can see how maybe you don't wanna be a diesel mechanic or you really wanna be a diesel mechanic, whatever. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Also check out my merchandise store where you can get yourself a t-shirt, coffee cup, and support the channel. Support Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.